Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach, and this is the electrical question of the day. Which of the following are not allowed to be used as grounding electrodes? So we're talking about when you're establishing your grounding electrode system for the home, what are or business, what are some things that are not allowed to be used? Well, we're going to find this in 250.52b. Now, 250.52a lays out the groundwork, you could say, for grounding electrodes. And it lists the things that you are allowed to use. And then in part B, it's a very short list of things that you're not allowed to use. And the first one is aluminum. So any type of aluminum, you're just not allowed to use it. The second one is anything like this, for example, anything like a pool or a spa or a waiting tub, nothing like that is allowed to be used as a grounding electrode system. Now there are proper ways to make the equipotential bond and to bond all of that out there at the pool, but we do not want to use that as a grounding electrode system, but that's a lesson for another day. And the third one and the answer for our question today is you're not allowed to use a gas line as a grounding electrode. Now this doesn't mean that you may not have to bond the gas line, but you're not allowed to use it as a grounding electrode. And this one just makes tons of sense. We definitely don't want to be carrying any surges or lightning strikes on the gas line intentionally going down to the earth in it. So with that being said, the answer for today can be found in 250.52b. And if you click on the screen right now, you can sign up for a lifetime membership for the Electrical Exam Coach website for only $49.99. Just click on that link right there. You can check it over there, check it out. It gives you lifetime access to all of our material. It also allows you to become a well-rounded electrician because it's not just about getting your license, but it's about being a well-rounded electrician. There's nothing like walking on the job or being a part of a you know community even online and knowing that you understand pipe fill, box fill, motor calculations, and all these things. And we can teach you in a very short amount of time on the Electrical Exam Coach website. I am the Electrical Code Coach. Let's get to it.